Hi, I'm Misha. Welcome to As Long As You're Breathing. This is an Every Life is a Story event, and this is our last um, episode that is following this twin flame journey of the heart for healing, wholeness, and happiness, which has been um, an anonymous story that I'm sharing with you and doing some commentary and teaching around. But um, we're talking about twin flame because there's so much out there about twin flame. And as all relationships are, it should be managed with energy management. And so all of this will also apply in some ways to every relationship. And we do want to honor every relationship and every type of love. So, you know, as long as we're breathing, you all. Thank you all for joining us. Um, if you've been following the series, then you know that the very first episode, I go through the whole story there and do kind of a, a teaching and um, some commentary. And now we've been um, doing several episodes now where we've broken the story up and done some more in-depth teaching. And I've created um, six videos, I think, uh, video meditations to go with it to, um, for healing, for finding out about Twin Flame, uh, for going to the Akashic Records, that sort of thing. So, um, and of course, the Daily Energy Management Guide is available over at the website as well, because um, with it, um, you learn how to do all of these things as well, and, and they all go hand in hand. So, um, but yes, thank you all for being back. So I'm not going to do a major recap um, because it takes so long because we're, we're at the end now. But basically, um, she didn't even believe in Twin Flame. Uh, she's doing this anonymously because she wants to respect his privacy. She didn't believe in Twin Flame, hadn't even heard of Twin Flame. Spirit had her do this meditation to show her she had a Twin Flame. And she's like, holy smokes, it's true. Because she had been um, attached to her first love for over 40 years. And Spirit says, um, well, your twin wears a mask just like your first love did. So for 40 years, um, she had had no idea why their relationship had not worked out. They were now friends and in touch with each other, but only like messaging. He wouldn't speak to her on the phone. He wouldn't look her in the eye, but he did tell her he wanted her to know what the issue was, which she didn't think was ever going to happen, but it did happen. And she wasn't surprised when she found out, turns out that she really knew all along um, but she didn't want to know or didn't want to say she knew, whichever. But then we find out that, um, Spirit had also told her, although she had not really spiritually awakened yet, she wasn't totally into her gifts yet. Um, when she got married uh, to the ex, Spirit had told her that he wore a mask too, and actually told her, you need to look out here. He's wearing a mask. Um, so it turns out she'd let everyone wear a mask in her life. And now the twin was, and uh, she goes on to admit that the reason that she um, really and truly feels that she just let it go like it did, because she was becoming quite spiritually awake and, and doing a lot of healing and realized that, okay, this isn't okay. But she had all this guilt because it turned out that she had worn a mask with him too. Well, she's this open, honest person who doesn't do that. The type of mask she wore was... Um, it was this this false behavior um, of this false bravado of being braver than she was uh, it, it, to be with it, to be with him. You know, she apparently it was it was not an easy thing for her to do to be with him, whatever that means. And um, but she tried to hide that, um, at least to some degree, she tried to, or she felt like perhaps she had. Um, I don't know. And then, of course, what his mask is, we don't know either at this point. And, um, but we do know, though, that she was feeling his energy. Um, and she went to an Akashic Records reading to try to figure out why. So we've, we've discussed many things in the other episodes. We've discussed mirroring and triggering and um, 
and Akashic Records and, and all sorts of things um, in the other episodes. And so now we are down to, um, to the end, okay? There's much more to the story, things I've admitted because of privacy, but much of what caused me to allow the disrespect of the mask is how we came together. I felt on some level I deserved it. We know that she felt that way. So then it skips on down to, um, she had tried to correct it, but you can't go back and correct when you've done that. Somebody expects you to be who you were. And so um, there was the lesson. Because of his behavior to get me to be brave enough to be with him, because of my behavior to be brave enough um, to be with him, that turned out to be who he thought I really was. I've watched closely with both my natural sight and my insights that spirit has chosen to show me for best and highest good, to see who he is without the mask. And time and reality have shown me he's not really the man I thought he was. Oh, he could be, but that's not who he wants to be and that's his choice to make. I also could be of the character I acted in to be with him to begin with, but I'm not that person. My choice has to be to walk away from the deceptions, his and mine, and go on with my life, healed, whole, and happy. And this is where we've left off. Regardless, Twin Flame is not meant to be this way, and I see other aspects of it. On the one hand, it is the greatest, purest, sweetest love of my life. Not just romantic, but on every level. But because of how we started in the natural, it has also been frustrating, heartbreaking beyond words, and the loneliest experience of my life. All that aside, and more importantly, because I think this is the thing that matters for all Twin Flames, I also want to clearly acknowledge that I mishandled it from the beginning because I didn't even know there was a beginning or what there was a beginning of until I was so deeply into it and it already handled it all so poorly that any chance of saving it seemed unlikely. I also know that I went on the journey alone because like most of the world, I was ignorant of twin flame. And once I was aware, the info I got was not accurate. And I simply did not know how to find a way to help us recover from that place of not knowing. It wasn't as simple as being direct and saying, we're twin flame and this is what that means. Or maybe it was. And I just failed at being my usual self there as well, because I already, because I really knew all along who was behind the mask and I didn't want it to be true. So kind of like with the, the first boyfriend, the first love, she's got an inkling, but she didn't want it to be true. So she just didn't speak up. At this point, it does not seem that the much coveted twin flame union is going to happen for us. Although I'm convinced it's truly meant to happen for all twin flame couples. I will say I'm very frustrated at the number of people who have decided that I need to move on with my life and they have no idea what they are encouraging me to move on from. I'm a very open, real, honest person. I don't even know how to consider another relationship at this point. How do I share my life with someone else when I know there's a part of me, a part I can't even explain, that would always belong to someone else. And that again is not schoolgirl romantic crush stuff, but a very real cosmic truth. There's no other kiss, no other touch like that of your twin flame. Nor is it that I'm not healed and I'm looking for someone to complete me because nothing could be further from the truth. I never wanted to be with my twin to be completed, but I will admit, He's the only place that has felt like home. There's no other conversation, no other connection on any level like there is between you and your twin flame. In spite of our lack of union and the very real heartache I have felt and the sadness and loneliness I have experienced, I do not regret my journey. I do not regret being his twin flame. I regret my actions to be with him, but that showed me that I too can wear a mask and much, much more. Because of it, I have healed at a level, deep core wounds. 
that I'm not sure would have even surfaced otherwise. And even if they had, without that inner knowing that every step I took toward healing myself meant I was one step closer to possibly being united with him, I'm not sure I would have had the strength to face much of what I have. Some will frown at my giving him that credit. I'm not taking anything away from the fact that I and I alone have done the work. I'm merely seeding to the point that I was put on that path of healing to begin with because of having met and then so deeply and truly loving my twin flame. I truly hope that someday he will realize he too was on this journey and that he too has grown and healed in a way that made it all worthwhile. So she has gone to great lengths here not to paint either of them as the good guy, bad guy. She talks about, um, she's had nothing but respect for him and she was in awe of him. Um, she admits to the attraction and that he's got the manual where she's concerned. She says twin flames have manuals on the manual on each other. But she keeps insisting it wasn't just that. It was everything about that person. And that is what twin flames will tell you. And I've said this before. Yes, the sex is amazing, but it's everything about the person. Everything. So they're not in union. And there are people who are like, you need to just get over this. And I don't know what she's told or hasn't told, but she's like, they don't even know what they're telling me to get over. So um, where she's at at this point in her life, I, th I think it's highly possible people are oblivious to what they're telling her to get over. Um, she's going to such lengths to keep his, his um, identity secret that um, I, I think probably she truly people would, would be shocked if they knew what they were telling her to get over. But many in the twin flame community do get very tired of being told you're putting too much energy into this. And, you know, you're putting too much energy into this. Well, first and foremost, as I've said, you do cause each other to see, and as she says, things you need to heal. Now, it is ideal if, like I said, women, you like to put your makeup on with a mirror and men, you like to shave with a mirror. Well, I do believe Twin Flame would go much easier if they were doing energy management, looking at each other. And then go on to have that happy, healthy, whole and complete amazing relationship that they should have, which I've talked about greatly in other episodes. But that's just not what happened here. But all that said, if you've not experienced Twin Flame and you don't know, then it is a healing journey. There's a lot of healing to be done and you're never wasting your energy when you're healing. And it is true that everything you heal, the twin actually benefits and heals some too. Now, I know of some who say, well, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to heal and, and they benefit from it. I'm miserable in all of this. I'm not doing it. Well, you're only hurting yourself. The healing is for you. And the fact that they benefit in some way because they mirror you and therefore they have a similar issue. And the two of you being so connected means they also do some healing too. Well, if you're in vibrational alignment with yourself, if you're operating truly in unconditional love, you can't help but want other people to be happy, whole, and complete. So you're not going to have that attitude. If you're in vibrational alignment, if you're in unconditional love, you're going to heal because that's the right thing for you. That's your total self-care. And then if someone else benefits from it, especially your twin, yay. You don't feel like, well, I'm not going to do it because it's going to help them. I mean, that's, that's a very low vibrational way to be. That's why we handle all this with energy management and we catch those things. We're like, hold on a second. What did I just say? Because we feel them sometimes. We get frustrated. So we might feel it sometimes. But then if we're doing things by energy management, we catch ourselves and we hear it. We're like, hold on a second. What kind of energy am I in to say that? What is my emotion? What is my energy in motion there? That sounds bitter and petty. And that's not who I want to be. 
I want to be high vibrational. See, when we do things by realizing that it really is all about energy, when we manage relationships using energy management, we see things about ourselves that well, we just don't see otherwise. As she came to understand energy management, she came to see so much self, so much more about herself. So yes, she's frustrated that um, there are people around her telling her, you just need to move on. She does say she's not sure how to be in another relationship. Now, I do know that when she says, um, how does she word it? How do I share my life with someone else when I know there's a part of me, a part I can't even explain that would always belong to someone else? And again, it's not a schoolgirl crush, schoolgirl romantic crush stuff but a very real cosmic truth. There's no other kiss, no other touch like that of your twin flame. Now, when she says a part of her would belong to him, she's, she's this happy, healthy, whole, complete person. So she doesn't mean it in the sense that I can't be complete without him. But she's made a connection that she knows that no other connection is going to live up to in many ways. And she doesn't want to be false with someone else and pretend that that it even compares. She doesn't know how to do that yet. I believe like she does that all twin flames are supposed to get together. We're both incarnate uh, on the planet at the same time. If you are, then yeah, you're meant to be together. We talked about the missions and all of that in another episode. You're meant to be together. But if you're not, if one or the other just is not going to come into vibrational alignment, as Archangel Michael said, I've never seen someone so um, determined um, not to be happy, to stand in his own way of being happy. If that's truly the case in your twin flame journey, energy management is you have to let them be them. And that's what she's doing. And that there's nothing more loving than that. And I talk about this with every time I teach about relationship. It's not loving to hold on to a relationship that's not in vibrational alignment. It's not good for either of you. Now, if one has um, behavioral issues, if they're purposefully keeping you in a relationship that they're getting the benefit from and you're not, well, then that that is a problem they're probably pretty happy with the relationship actually but they're not really happy with it they're not going to be really happy until they're in vibrational alignment with their with their self so they're whole and complete and those kind of behaviors are very low vibrational when somebody wants to take someone else's energy when somebody else gets off on the fact that well you know there she goes again i've, I've got her wrapped around my finger that is a low vibrational response that person is not vibrating high. They're not vibrating, vibrating at a high vibrational frequency. They're not happy, healthy, whole and complete people. So you're not doing anyone any good yourself or that person by staying in the relationship. Now, all of that said, that doesn't make either person the right person, the wrong person, the good person, the bad person. There's no good, bad judgment here. There's just, where's the scale vibrationally? Are we on the same vibrational scale? Are we at the same place vibrationally? Are we in alignment? If we're not, then the loving thing to do for myself and for you is for me to release this and move on. And yes, I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure how you tell someone else that you meet later Okay, my twin flame is incarnate and I know who it is. And um, yes, I've been with him. I, I, you know, if they understand anything about twin flame at that point, they're going to be like, oh boy, you know, 
because they know that that person has been lit up and happy and all these things in a way that well, there's not another comparison for. But we can all say that if you think about it. The first love of your life. Is there anything like that? You don't think so. If you haven't experienced twin flame, then you don't know how intense it is, how wonderful it is. You don't know, you don't know what it's like to know the potential of it and just not be able to make that potential fulfilled. But all that said, every relationship, if we would do the energy management, every relationship that people are in alignment with one another has the potential of being an amazing relationship. So it's going to take some healing for anyone who, who can't make twin flame work, who's giving up on the potential of that amazing relationship. But that's not the reason to go on alone either. You certainly shouldn't jump into a relationship right away or and how much she says to someone else, how, what she tells, I, I don't know. I don't even know where to, to advise on that. Do you say, I know who my twin flame is and then worry that person that, okay, your twin's going to come back at some point and that's going to be the end of us. Do, do you do that? You know, what? I'm a person who believes that you should be as honest and open as you could, as she is. I'm quite sure that in some way she's going to, when she's able to move on to another relationship, if she hasn't already. Um, she's going to find a way to say, there is someone who is very special to me. We have a connection. I don't know how to describe to you. And, um, it, it's left me in a, in a place emotionally that I don't quite know how to explain, but I will be honest with you and open with you and manage our relationship. One plus one equals three. And I think if she does that, it's going to be okay for her and whoever she ends up with. Because all relationships should be handled that way. Twin Flame, absolutely. They're here to show us all that model and why it's so wonderful. But we can all step into that model without ever having seen the Twin Flames do it. We don't have to see Twin Flames do it for, for us all to be able to look at the model ourselves and say, wait a second, this works for my job. This works with my kids. This works with my family. This works with myself because it tells me how to do my own true self care and have the right relationship with myself before I try to have any other relationships. It tells me how to mutually respect other people so that the collective, the whole, can be happy, healthy, whole, and complete. Because for the whole to be, each individual has to be. That's why this notion that we, heaven on earth, is a myth and not meant to be. It's just not true. That is how it's meant to be. We are meant to be here, happy, healthy, whole, and complete. We are meant to have high vibrational experiences so the collective can be happy, healthy, whole, and complete. That is what we're meant to do. And Twin Flame is definitely a part of that. There's so much, there's so many of them. And I want them all to understand the energy management of it. And I want them to have better outcome than this story has so far, at least. But whatever the outcome, Whatever the type of relationship, know that energy management is how you handle it. Doing your daily energy hygiene, doing your daily energy management guide. I, I have one at my website that helps you. It helps you identify ways that you're not being your authentic self. It helps you identify how to be your authentic self. It helps you with manifesting time management 
It helps you with all areas of your life and it's a one page sheet. So I know that our guest was not here live and in person, but I feel like we all got to know quite a bit about her and about her story. So I want to thank her very much for sharing it, even though it was shared anonymously. Thank you so much. And for the insight I have into the story as well to help add and to give commentary. Again, I've done many, um, six now, I think, um, meditations that are available. The links will be below. There is the guide, the daily energy management guide that's at the website. This is what I talk about all the time, whether I'm addressing twin flames and love or whatever I'm addressing, it's always got something to do with energy management because every life is a story. We're here to write our story our way. Energy management is how we do it. And as long as you're breathing, I want you to be living the life you came here to live. That's in great big capital letters. And I want you to be loving that way too. Thank you all. It's been a pleasure sharing this twin flame journey of the heart for healing, wholeness, and happiness. I hope everyone has seen twin flame is a big deal. They do have a mission, but all relationships are a big deal. We've all got a mission together if we choose to accept it. But your relationship with yourself has to come first or you can't make any relationship work, not even twin flame. So until we see each other again, 